radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Libra. For your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Libra placement in your chart, you can apply this too. Before you get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That's the only way you can get a private reading from me. And my only Insta is linked directly below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check out my live completely free radio show every other Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. It'll also be in the description. It's a super fun vibe over there. Everyone loves it. We listen to music. We pull cards. It's a freaking vibe. Other than that, we're going to see what's going on with Libra. Okay, this one doesn't want to go back in. Let's see. Okay. Spirits are high. You know, okay, I get it. <laughs> wow. Spirits are high for Libra right now. We have motivation, healing, and divination, and then go outside just came out. So tapping into your energy, Libra, it's like you guys are finally feeling motivated again. So maybe there was a blow to the heart chakra or something like that, because now you're in an energy and some may consider it to be inconsiderate. Like some people may say, Libra is being really selfish right now. I'm not really getting Libra's energy. It seems like you've I mean, maybe pulled back your energy from someone, but I feel like this doesn't have to do with anyone else. I feel like it literally has to do with you, and that's the whole tea. It's not that you're pushing anyone out. Um... It's not that you're going out of your way to be selfish. It's just like you guys are finally feeling motivated again after some much needed healing. You're also being um, or in the process of some divination. So it's looking like you guys are kind of reaching new heights, which you have to do in order to, you know, reach your next level personally. So you're definitely going through some positive personal transformation doesn't even feel like the word for it. It feels bigger and better than that. But you're going through something personally and it's a time that's really about you. You're wanting to be outside and you're not feeling sorry about it. And it's just like, I really feel you guys in an energy like, listen, if you're going to be mad at me for having fun, you're going to have to be mad because I just got out of an energy where I was maybe people pleasing or too considerate of what everyone else was thinking. And I'm going to have some fun and that's just that on that. I deserve it. So let's get into the actual words on the cards. Motivation. This one says, when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say to get busy and do it. So that's literally, literally in alignment with what's happening right now. It is literally spring. And like I said, you guys are feeling motivated. You're excited and happy. There's like some dust on the table that's really triggering the Virgo placements in my chart. Um, but yeah, tapping into this energy, you guys are like, listen, like I'm feeling motivated again. You're very focused on you. It's, I don't even feel Libra trying to communicate. Uh, with other people about what's going on with you and I'm just like pre-anticipating that that may be an issue that some people have with you but right now it's really all about you like I don't feel like you guys are hearing the outside noise you're really kind of focused all right cool we have healing I feel like you guys are learning boundaries as well. You're establishing boundaries with yourself and with other people. You're saying to yourself, listen, if we work too much without no play, this is what tends to happen. If we focus too much on someone else, uh, you know, and not spend enough time focusing on us or feeding positive energy into us by doing things we love or by, you know, whatever, whatever way your method is of channeling self-love to you, you, you're basically setting a lot of boundaries and that's a part of the healing process. And that's typically an energy you get in once you're at the tail end of the healing process or at least over the the hump the hard part now is the time for you to give or receive healing everyone has the natural natural ability to heal others yes even you so the universe is definitely you know really in support of you libra like yes heal yourself do this you have to do this you have to get out of this energy this has to happen and a lot of people aren't going to get it you know libra because you know like people may want things from you, but it's like you can't give them that if you're not whole, if you're not happy, if you're not in a good space, you're not going to have anything or very much to give to people. You're not going to be able to give to people what they want unless this happens. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, maybe they should check out for a while. Either way, I, I don't really honestly feel like you guys care what they their coping mechanism is. You have to do what you have to do. 
Divination, embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. So I'm getting solar plexus with that, which is yellow, so it makes sense. Um, but you are in the process of divination. You are ascending. So if you're really kind of struggling with that part, listen to some solar plexus uh, healing music while you sleep. Um, I was actually supposed to do that yesterday, but then I had got too tired to literally push the button. Like, all you have to do is push the button. I don't know why I get so tired. <laughs> but anyways, we have go outside. Yeah, definitely um, listen to some solar plexus um, healing music while you're sleeping or while you're meditating to help if you're struggling with really stepping into your power. Um, and then we have go outside. It's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. So whatever you have, whether it's, you know, you have a bunch of trees and nature around you or if it's city life, still get out, feel that air. I feel like you guys are and people are taking it the wrong way. I don't know. I'm getting this energy of people not understanding, but as soon as I tapped in, I got it. I get it. I understand exactly what's happening right now. This is going to be a lesson for some people around you to understand. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got the four of wands. This is soulmate energy, and this is what has been pressing me um, during this reading. Like, even from the beginning, I immediately kind of felt before I even got into your cards that for whatever reason, someone was uncomfortable with the energy you're in right now. I didn't know why. But this is why we have a soulmate connection or a romantic connection that's waiting for you to come through. Um, and they could feel you energetically. They may not even know you, Libra, or, you know, you may feel that pressure as well of, okay, I know I should be kind of like, or maybe you're ready for it as well. But at the same time, you're trying not to pressure yourself to jump into a relationship or to, you know, if you already have a person, you're trying not to feel that pressure too much on your back because you're really needing to tap into your own needs right now, you know? And that's a part of your divination. So let's keep going. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're in the process of rebuilding, working on yourself, your self growth. Underlying energy, we do have the Five of Swords, which is a bit of a confusing energy, fighting without a cause. That's the underlying energy of your situation, bottom of the deck. Um, so yeah, that's just that dissonance, but I don't feel like you guys are really focused on that. So it is what it is. Now we have the Four of Swords. Tarot has a story behind it. And the story about the Four of Swords is it's actually the story of a soldier who's just gotten back from war. They're reflecting on their journey, almost in shock that they're still alive, wondering how they made it. But taking a moment, taking a beat to say, wow, I made it. And this is what I see you guys in. You're finally in a place of balance with that temperance card. You finally found the special formula to your happiness and you're in shock about it and you're just kind of enjoying it. So you're in a really lighthearted energy. Like I don't get a, man a malicious energy from, from Libra right now. And um, yeah, you know, people struggling to, to understand where you are right now, it's just not a concern for you. I can feel the energy around you, but I don't feel you concerned with it. So I don't know for the cross watchers out there, you know, who like to watch their person's reading or people, you know, that they know they're reading. Just be mindful of that because you don't want Libra to completely push you out if you start to Tasmanian devil and go berserk on them because they're really needing this. And if you can't understand that, that's selfish. And because they're so ascended going through the process of divination, seeing selfishness reflected in other people is not an attractive thing for Libra right now. So you could really get cut off <laughs> just to say we got the Knight of Pentacles. You guys are rebuilding. So you're not even in a perfect space. You're not fully ascended. You're going through the process of divination. Nation. So, you know, you're still not perfect. It's important for people to know that because it's like, listen, I don't want to cut you off, but if that's what I have to do, because I, I feel like you guys really have worked for and really want to cling to this happiness that you feel at this time. Because it's like finally a weight has lifted off of your shoulder. Like I feel like some of you guys spiraled during the winter months. Some of you guys may get like seasonal sadness and things like that. And you're getting out of that. You're finally out of it. And it's like if you don't understand, especially if they, you've had a conversation with them. Like if you don't understand what I'm going through right now, like 
you gotta go. That's just, you know. Okay, what's going on here? We got the King of Cups in reverse, Princess of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. With this, I feel like this is a couple, like a divine masculine and a feminine. Maybe the divine masculine was older than the feminine. Um, but I feel like both of you have changed. King of Pentacles in reverse, though, there's almost this energy of things still not being able to work. Like, this could be you wondering, like, oh, am I going to get my old job back or am I going to go back to that same job? But knowing deep down that it won't work for you anymore. Or if this is on a relationship tip, like knowing, like, okay, yeah, we've both grown and evolved, but that still doesn't mean we need to be together. Which I've had situations like that as well. I've had breakups and I've had, like, exes contact me, like, you're so different. And I'm like, yeah, I am. And you're so different too, like you really are. Okay, so let's, you know, hang out. And it's like, no, let's not. Like, we don't need to go back to that just because we're both better now. Like, let's charge that relationship to the game and honestly move on. <laughs> but yeah, someone's been thinking about you, talking about you a lot, really wanting to spend some time with you. And it's like, you know, there's a thin, thin line between love and hate. Because it's gossip, like they're talking about you almost in a derogatory way, like you're being selfish, but still saying, oh, Libra, 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 like they have this soft space in their heart for you, but they're low key, like salty. They're feeling real bittersweet right now. Okay, it's giving Sour Patch. It's giving, it's giving salty than sweet. It's giving Warhead. Um, because make up your mind about how you feel, but it's just not your concern. We all have a long-term relationship in just the two of us interesting <laughs> and decent proposal at the bottom of the deck that's the underlying energy the underlying energy is you kind of feel this pressure as well Libra to to jump on opportunities sooner than you should but this is like really you're honestly truly in a place where you're trying to do better and you're trying not to fall headfirst into connections so it is tempting even to go back to old situations it's tempting to to go back to situations that won't serve you it's tempting to engage in you know something that'll just be fun for you since you're in such a jovial energy but um at the end of the day you're wanting something personal I just heard this time it's personal. You're wanting something personal. So you want to take your time because you're wanting a long-term relationship. I feel like Libra, you want a, your long-term partner, but not to the point where you're, you're not desperate about it. That's the thing. Libra, I don't feel like you're in a desperate energy where you're, you know, foaming at the mouth for it to the point where you're going to make an irresponsible decision. First of all, you're going to enjoy this happiness that you have right now. And then moving forward, um, Oh, we got two fives. Five is the number of change. We actually got a uh, five at the bottom of the deck as well. The five of swords. So that's five, five, five. Um, I lost my train of thought, but I think I finished that thought. Uh, we have the five of fire and the five of air and then the knight of fire. There's those. Let's get into these five. So the first one was the five of uh, cups that came out. It would be the five of cups. Focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a, le a reason, look for the hidden blessings. Yeah, and that's what I was feeling before with that four of swords energy where you're reflecting on everything that you've been through, like almost in shock that you made it through because at some points it really was that bad. And then finally, you know, getting through some healing about it. So that had to come with some shadow work, some acceptance, all of these things. You're forgiving yourself, you're forgiving others. And in order to truly forgive yourself and love yourself, you're realizing that you have to make a solid effort now that you're conscious to do things in a different way. And that's a part of the reason that you have to forgive yourself because you weren't consciously aware of what you were doing necessarily at the time. That's what comes with divination, having that bird's eye point of view you you have to forgive yourself for those of you who may still be hanging on to some resentment towards self for what you've been through you know so you can move on so we have the five of fire or the five of wands conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time then stand up for yourself very ambitious people so people really kind of want to bring you around like a rag doll 
they want you to do what they want you to do because they want they crave you like someone is like really gaga over you uh libra i almost wanted to say leo interesting um, but someone is really like drooling over you and they really just want you to do what they want you to do and it could be just because they're used to having control over you. But this card is saying walk away from drama unless it's worth your time. If it is worth your time, stand up for yourself. But honestly, I would say, you know, disengage completely. I wouldn't, I don't see anything as worth your happiness. Not until you get a little further down the line where you're stronger, where you know you won't settle. Because I feel like this is all still new for you guys. There's a lot of tests happening here and it's not even a test from the universe. It's like a test of self, you know? So, um, you know, there's still room for failure here. I would wait a little longer before even talking to anyone and just honestly keep doing what you're doing for now. Um, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events require, requiring immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. So things are moving full speed ahead, Libra. You're definitely attracting more passionate relationships towards you. I feel like someone is going to be turning up in your life pretty soon. Either that or you're going to be turning up in someone else's life pretty soon. I'm trying to see what they're all about. Um, but just wait until you're ready, Libra. Wait until you're, you know, till you're ready. That's it. Now we do have tangibility. Make your dreams real. So some of you need to start to manifest the kind of partner that you want. Now that you know what you don't want, write a letter to the universe. Dear universe, these are the qualities that I look for in a person. And it's really even more of a thing for you so that subconsciously, if you do come across someone, you won't say, oh, this person is sent for me from the universe. You'll say, these, this person is reflecting the qualities that I have asked for or that I've written down. So I know that this is someone that I can move forward with instead of allowing people be, because like people, energy is energy. You know, I've literally been attracted to people purely for their energy, wasn't physically attracted. Okay. So there's some people in my past that really had to grow on me, um, aesthetically, but, um, like tapping into this energy, make sure you know what it is that you want so that once people come into your life, um, you know whether or not this is what you've been waiting for because people have free will. So someone could, you know, come, you know, shoot their shot with you and you're thinking, oh, this is sent for me from the universe. Not really. Typically, the universe is only sending, you know, people who have lessons to teach us. The universe isn't just, you know, we're not robots. The universe isn't just throwing us, you know, romance. Um, we have Nas, solitude and tangibility. Tangibility is all what I was just talking about. At the bottom of that one, it says make your dreams real. So that's what I was talking about, making sure you know what it is that you want and that you're manifesting that when you're ready. Um, Nas, feel loved and proud. Proud of what you've been through, Libra. So much transformation. I really wish I had a better word because transformation isn't it. I feel like transformation is so played out. And that's just not the word for this. Um, but for lack of better words, we'll go with that. Solitude, alone but not lonely. Yep. Yeah. You're doing your thing, Libra. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. And that was your spread. Check me out on Etsy in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, also check me out every other Monday. I have a completely free live radio show. We listen to music. We pull cards. Um, that's also in the description. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. And that was your spread. I love you, Libra. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.